welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor and today we're reacting to Fletcher's latest single, Lead Me On. But before we hop in the video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you love all things music. To all my Fletcher fans out there, are we excited that we're getting album number two? Personally, I'm very excited because the album comes out a week, well, like six days after my uh, my birthday this year. So I, it's a little, little belated birthday present for me. And obviously, this new era is already sounding amazing. I reacted to the Eras of Us song and music video. I'll link her up here. But now we have a new song that she's been teasing on TikTok that I'm real excited to get into. My okay. initial thoughts are from the snippets that we've heard that this is gonna sample or sound a little bit like AHA's Take Me On. I think that's the title. I was getting a distinct 80s vibe, which we've been getting that classic 70s, 80s nostalgic vibe from a lot of recent song releases. So we'll see if that carries on. Like with all reaction, things will likely be sped up or blurred out. And without further ado, let's listen to the song. I was born to love you You were born wildly So why don't you just leave me on Cause something is better than nothing at all Yeah, I want you to leave me on Cause something is something is better than nothing Okay, so yeah, we're kind of sampling that aha lead me on. We're kind of stripped back a little more at this beginning part. So obviously the whole preface premise of this song is that she is falling for someone who is either not as interested in her or is just not at that point in their life where they want to be with her, things like that. But despite the very obvious, like, lack of alignment here, she's like, well, I'd rather you lead me on because a little bit of you is better than none of you. That kind of feeding this love addiction that she has, which is kind of fun. Well, it's not a fun time. Like, that's a little bit of toxic behavior. Don't just be giving your time to people who want to give you nothing or as little as possible. But so far, sonically, it's scratching the right part of my brain. I I feel like a lot of us like take me on, so lead me on, obviously. Should sound somewhat, you know, pleasing to our ears. So, let's see. They went a little different there. I was like really expecting them to pull like an Eras of Us where they just go bam, bam, bam into that bridge moment. But she kind of, I don't say she stripped it off. She just did something a little more unique there than I was expecting. Obviously the whole point of like the pre-chorus of the chorus is like you're constantly running, but you're not running towards me. So the lyrics, it's hard to tame wild horses. I like the connection she made there with the running and trying to like, be with this person who's very much like wild child, not a wild child, but like wildflower, free, free lifestyle, and she's just not ready to settle down. Whereas Fletcher is like, mm, I would like to settle down and be with you. So it's kind of interesting how she's weaving these lyrics together. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of expecting this song to end with like a cassette player ending or like a cassette like clip, click, clip. I don't know. We'll see. But also, I mean, obviously for the bridge, we kind of just got a repeat of the chorus. So nothing new information wise there. But I'm definitely interested to see where the album goes because so far we've gotten two songs that have a very strong build and a very like pop, rocky. She's really exploring her vocals, I feel like, on this song, which, not that I wasn't expecting it, but also kind of taken aback, because I feel like I haven't necessarily heard her do, like, a very bold vocal moment in the past, maybe on, like, Becky's So Hot. Anyone else? Anyone else? So I'm interested to see what, like, the ballady, or if there's even any slow songs on the album, considering In Search of the Antidote sounds like it's gonna have a mixture of sad and happy, so I don't know. Sounds great, 
Maybe the music video will give me some more information. Maybe they'll have some Easter eggs as to upcoming album things. We'll see. Let's hop into it. I was born to love you. You were born wildly. I was made to find you. Yeah, I want you to leave. Okay, okay, first of all, I think I pointed this out in the last Fletcher video, and I've kind of like done what I consider sort of like a Fletcher S makeup look. She really loves these like dark neutrals, like a deeper brown on the like on the lips and the eyes. She's really pulling it off like this like neutral grunge era of makeup looking great. I love kind of how she starts out the song in a more like tamed back way and so she's opening the video in a state of undress and then as she's moving into like the rest of the house and like moving on towards things she you know putting more clothes on maybe getting a little bolder you know I don't know we'll see how that works out but so far it looks like we're kind of in maybe she filmed this in Paris too I'm kind of getting like Paris Parisian household um, just like she did with Eras of Us, now she's entering a room with her band. So let's see how that plays out. So obviously she's in a place, she's about to perform, she's getting ready to perform, she's seeing people, fans, and stuff like that. Is this going to be a whole, like, I have to put this persona on for the outside world when really, like, my love life is like this? Like, not going so hot, not going so well? Curiosities, we'll see. <laughs> interesting well she did end up performing like she did this is kind of similar to the errors of us video where it was kind of more vibes than plot not mad at it but sometimes nowadays i kind of like wish we got some music videos that had more plot than vibes i guess to each their own but definitely fun since this one definitely looks like it was also filmed in paris i wonder how many videos we're gonna get that have that parisian background i don't know let me know, you know how many you think we're going to get in the comments down below. And that was my reaction to Fletcher's new single, Lead Me On. Let me know what you thought of the song. What did you think of the music video? Are you excited for this new era the same way that I am? And what would you like me to react to next?